freezing cold and it's raining Today is my brother's birthday, he turns 24 today And uh, tonight we're going to his party Probably we're gonna go clubbing as well But until then I have a few things to take care of First of all I need to get a workout in And then I need to go buy a shirt Yesterday it was uh, Black Friday in Romania And uh, I went to the mall And uh, I tried to buy some clothes yesterday But guess what? The stores were packed I couldn't even go inside And uh, yeah, I actually bought a laptop too Yesterday I bought a good laptop So I can edit these videos better, faster And earn uh, some more time each day And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go today uh, again to the mall And I'm gonna buy something uh, some clothes, but first of all, let's get the workout in Great stuff, I forgot my shoes at home Here we go again Okay, now let's do the workout. It's already dark outside, still raining, still freezing cold A great workout today, a really good workout actually I set a few PRs Can you believe this? Every time I film outside Nah, I, I had to give up, it started pouring with rain And it was really noisy, I'm gonna do this inside it's currently 7 p.m. In one hour, I'm gonna be going to my brother's party. And of course, I'm gonna be drinking some alcohol tonight. Probably some wine. I really enjoy wine, actually, lately. And uh, I wanted to tell you a few things about alcohol intake. Specifically, how to avoid fat gain from drinking alcohol. A few months ago, Greg and I did a podcast on alcohol. We talked about pretty much all the topics related to alcohol and fitness fat loss, muscle growth, and we even covered some psychological stuff, why you drink alcohol. I'm gonna link that podcast here. I highly recommend you check it out because there is so much valuable information in that podcast. Specifically, why you feel the need to drink alcohol. That is huge, in my opinion, because I have found that most people drink alcohol to escape their current identity. Basically, by getting drunk, they allow themselves to do stuff that they don't normally do and uh, then they can justify their actions by saying well I was drunk and everybody says oh okay that's fine uh, anyway if you want to learn uh, information about alcohol in detail go check out that podcast 
In this video, I'm just gonna give you some simple tips. Unlike what a lot of people think, alcohol doesn't impair muscle growth. Uh, if you remember the video where I showed you my first months of lifting, uh, in that video I told you that I drank a lot of alcohol during those months because I was going to those uh, high school parties. And even with that, I still made gains. So I never believed the, this stuff that alcohol prevents muscle growth. That's not true. The problem with drinking alcohol uh, while you're lifting weights is that it has a lot of calories and calories of course uh, mean fat gain so if you plan on drinking alcohol you need to make room for it in your diet you need to eat less less food during that day so uh, at the end of the day with the alcohol you are around maintenance you don't have a massive surplus the way you do that is very simple you just eat less carbs and less fats during the day that's exactly what I did today. I went to the gym fasted um, and then I just had some low fat cheese with some tuna and some veggies and uh, two pieces of bread. And that is very, that was very little calories. It was a lot of protein um, because you know, you still need to hit your protein, but I, I, um, I still have a lot of calories left for alcohol because every gram of alcohol has seven calories. Although when it is processed, inside the body after the thermic effect of food it drops down to 5.2 i think so every gram of every gram of alcohol has uh, about five calories you could say something you may find interesting is that alcohol cannot be converted directly into fat that's right if you only drink alcohol you cannot gain fat because our bodies don't uh, doesn't don't have a mechanism of turning ethanol into fat however alcohol leads to fat loss indirectly because when you drink alcohol it gets priority in the digestion process so basically our bodies uh, will burn alcohol and this will stop fat oxidation and that means all the fat that you eat is going to go to fat stores if you are in a surplus of course uh, so this is the way alcohol leads to fat gain most people gain fat from drinking because they eat after they drink when you're drunk, <laughs> you no longer think about uh, caloric restriction, right? So you go out and you eat high fat food, usually fast food, and that, of course, goes to fat stores because all the energy that your body burns comes from alcohol. And also something interesting is that don't think that you can get away with drinking a lot of alcohol if you don't eat afterwards. Because all that energy that you got from the alcoholic drinks will remain in your body for you know maybe more than one day so uh, if you drank today 3000 calories that's impossible but let's say you did tomorrow you would still have those calories in your system so if you eat normally you will be actually in a surplus and you will gain fat so what you want to do is actually you want to prevent going in a surplus even if that means uh, even if those calories are alcohol calories so in addition to eating less carbs and fats before you go out drinking what you want to do once you get to the party or to the bar or whatever to the club you want to choose alcoholic drinks that are lower in calories so uh, you want to avoid things like beer uh, sweet alcoholic drinks because those will have a lot of carbs besides uh, alcohol and they will have a lot of calories to give an example a normal beer has around 250 calories at least in Romania and that's a lot drinking four beers in one night is easy everyone can do it and uh, <laughs> that's 1000 calories it's a lot I would recommend drinking stuff like whiskey vodka tequila stuff like that with maybe a diet coke or maybe water or uh, ice or something simple that way you get to uh, drink alcohol and you know get that euphoric feeling but you avoid the calories that uh, uh, come with it and uh, wine is also fine but you need to choose a wine that is not sweet and uh, because those will be usually less in calories so we're first going to my brother's girlfriend house apartment actually that's where we're gonna have the first party we're gonna have some drinks with some friends and uh, all that stuff and then we're gonna go into a club and uh, I actually had to bring two chairs from our apartment because there, uh, there won't be enough there still raining still freezing cold
I really don't like premature Christmas decorations. Takes away the spirit. <laughs> oh, Razvan! What's up? Huh? No, Stu, I can't get the treasure. Pa! 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 Hey! 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 Alcohol didn't stop you from building muscle and to achieving your goals, which is great. Then also, the research shows that um, moderate alcohol consumption does not impair overload-induced muscle hypertrophy and protein synthesis. So the adaptations that you make when you do an intense workout um, actually are not at all impaired from moderate drinking. Though if you're drinking heavily and getting hammer drunk, that will have negative effects.